four of doubles, top three of doubles actually. So this is losers finals. Uh, it's actually big time New England team kill. All four players from New England. You got Mars and Light against Raffi, X and DM. Winner of this, of course, will be going into Nairo and Dark Wizzy. Sitting pretty in grands right now after a 3-0 over Mars and Light. Yeah. We're going to try to see DM and Rafi try to, you know, upset uh, Light and Mars and get into grains and see if they can't get a better shot at them. You definitely can't sleep on DM and, and Rafi. Uh, we were talking about them earlier, actually. They've been playing this team, Rob and Pikachu, since Smash 4, and they're both vanilla characters, and they, they start teaming pretty early on. So, like, they've been teaming for years and years with this combination. They have very good synergy. Like, they know each other's characters very well. So, don't be surprised if you see a little more uh, team strategy between the red team. Yeah, and these are two characters that kind of hit the, uh, Sma the Smash Ultimate scratch off. You know, a little yeah. bit of a boost, not a full lottery set from them but definitely better than they were in the previous game. Woo! Light cleaning up the first stock, though. The thing, too, is, like, Light and Mars, first off, they don't color coordinate, so they lose a ton of points there. Yeah, total, I, total It's total all Light's fault. It's all Light's fault, like, honestly. He's playing the Green Fox uh, on the blue team, which is stupid. Good air dodge by Mars. He's able to recover. But the thing is, both their characters, not not known for being amazing in doubles. You know no, what I'm saying? Like, a lot of both, big hitboxes and a lot of fragile bodies. They do have, like, a good thing about them in doubles, a B. The thing... Think about Mars and doubles against Raffi, it's still zero suit against Rob. Like it's still she's still so nimble and so powerful. Like it's just a thing he does not like to deal with ever. Yeah, Rob continuously misses out on finding the ground. Gonna see the recovery here from ZSS, not quite enough to take out both members of the blue team, but Light's gonna lose his first stock there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what the red team's gonna want to do. They're gonna want to put uh, DM on, uh, or they're gonna want to put DM on Mars because that's a good matchup for Pikachu, and then they're gonna want to let uh, Light fight against Raffi. But right, it's got a little more complicated than that. But yeah, that's that's essentially the game plan. Yeah, and then you know, of course you're gonna try to toss to each other whenever you get a chance to. Obviously, a little bit more hectic towards the end of doubles. A lot of a lot of. Ooh, you know, that shield poked! Oh my God, that was great recognition by Mars. That's the thing, bros, man. You gotta note, like in doubles, a lot of it is just like a gut check. Yeah. Like, you, like it's just like a like a reaction thing. What do I do in this situation? You just gotta pull the trigger so fast because there's literally twice the amount of characters on the screen, so twice as much is going on. You just gotta be able to uh, hit the right button at the right time, yeah. uh, even faster. A lot of people have complained about ultimate doubles being a little bit too hectic, not quite the same kind of synergy you see in four into ultimate. I yeah. feel like that's just the beginning of the game. We're yeah. just trying to figure out things a little bit more. I personally think doubles is fine, and I think we're gonna see it really start to come up once people understand the mechanics. Of Carrying a little bit more and working around that. Yeah, I think honestly, I think people are just getting used to it. It's just like the balloon knockback. Remember, everyone hated the balloon knockback. Good job by Raffi. They're getting the side B, and the DM's gonna recover. Raffi holding the ledge for him. That was brave. Good job by Raffi. Getting rid of light. Looking for him. Was he good? I was gonna say, Ooh. man, even for light, like that's he, far. That's he, far. I was gonna say he's so good at recovering, but I was like, I don't even think he can make that one back. So he didn't. But right now, red team doing a good job, keeping it very competitive. I mean. Hold on. And there's that split you were talking about too. You're seeing Ooh, Pika ZSS. Raffi X. Oh, oh my God. He even went that. He didn't have to. Light getting gimped. Oh my God. Well played by Raffi X. I was saying this to you actually earlier off stream is that uh, since Raffi can't do the drop thing where you set up the top of the ledge of doubles, uh, B is going to do it. There goes Mars. Uh, Tough break. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, if DM hit him there, that would have been a stock. Yeah, for uh, sure. And you were talking about, you mentioned earlier about how the the Rob tricks aren't the same. So, yeah. you know. You can't, yeah. So the thing with Rob is like, you want to set up the top of the ledge, take your time, react to their ledge option, whatever it is, you know, land an up smash or a down air, whatever you can. You can't do that in doubles because there's another partner who can be there and save them, you know. So, mm -hmm. Raffi goes off stage a lot more uh, in doubles. Oh, back air. It makes, a, it makes a lot of more characters have to really streamline their game plans. Right. Rob, Snake, a lot of setup characters just don't have the same luxury that they do in 1v1, so it makes things a little more interesting to see how the players work around that. For sure. We see the initial bans coming in here from Rafi and DM. Um, question for you, is this going to be best of three for Losers Finals or best of five? It must be best of five because best of five, I yeah. think top two <laughs> or 12 teams that enter, 16, 12, lower, 6, 11. <laughs> hey, 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 we got top, top five, five at a C tier. At a C tier, baby. And we took two games off of, uh, we took games off of both teams that beat us. Yeah. If C3 builds stay well, that was a 100%. So what, what you're saying is we should get sponsored, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lick, I mean, Liquid's already picked up the buzz. Uh, without 100, 100 Thieves? 100 Thieves, I would say. Uh, all right, yeah, I can work with that, I yeah. guess. It's fine. But it's fine. Either way, it looks like we are going to Town City. It makes a lot of sense kind of stretch out the stage a little bit. Both, both members of the red team working with very good projectiles. Obviously, on the blue team, you're going to see some projectiles, too. Not quite as powerful, though. I'm really curious to see if we do see the individual 1v1 splits that we saw in the previous game, because these platform layouts is really going to benefit all four characters. You're going to see Fox do a lot of this right yeah, here. 45, 56 especially in nine light. seconds. Especially light, dude. Like He's just so good at comboing. Up air definitely his go-to tool. Let's see. Oh, Mars, you know, the tech chase. Beautiful up tilt. Tries for the jab lock there, Rafi. 
quick on the draw, though. Gonna tech it. Oh, oh hoo -hoo, that baby. was so smooth, yeah. And again, fighting light on those platforms is so... Oh, down air? Yeah, nice try. I like how you use the up B to get up there, too. Yeah, literally just like, all right, I get in position real quick. <laughs> really smart Dude, play. He raised his arms up, like, put his whole, put his whole uh, robot butt into it, you know? Right, here we go. Ooh, love the double down there. You probably would have seen that side B once again from Rob, but <laughs> that's going to be a quick stock gone. This is not a character that was really able to last very long in the first game. You typically see Rob live a lot longer in singles, but right, of course, in doubles, you're going to see it go down to maybe 100, 110% almost every time. Well, especially against, like, like Zirisu and Fox, which they have such powerful quick options, too. Uh, between Zirisu's offstage, her up B, and also, like, Fox's up smash just killed very early, especially if you saw him fighting on the platforms earlier. See the SAF from Light, by the way? Good pickup from Rafi. Better tech, though. Oh, my God. And Mars oh went all the way God. down there. There's no reason for that, really, because obviously he's going to make it back. Mars again tried to help his buddy out. Wow. wow. Dude, the team what play. What a swing. Yeah, dude. The team play from Blue off stage was just so good. Well played, man. Well played. Yeah, DM there. If you missed it, DM drop a stock uh, during that whole uh, kerfuffle. The shenanigans. Yeah, whatever you want to call that was nonsense. But Light, Tech Master, Mars getting in the way, causing some interference and helping his buddy recover. Yeah, because when you see, typically see a situation like that for a Fox, that's almost a guaranteed stock every time. But just putting another character body out there and really preventing any kind of real just clean uh, setups from either member of Red Team, you know, obviously, you know, worked out perfectly. You got to respect Zero Suit off stage too. There's a lot of different things you can do. Like, especially with the stock lead, you can just down air and lose. Like, they, you both lose stock, obviously, but you got the stock lead that's good for uh, Zero Suit. Oh, we see the initial parry on the first hit in there. It doesn't get all the way through, unfortunately, because of the multi-hits. Gonna see a big damage come out of that. Catches the landing with the F smash. Now we do see a little bit closing at the gap here for Red Team. You know, um, there was a very unfortunate situation in that earlier setup of Fox off stage that they weren't able to really close the gap further. But it's not out of the woods just yet. They're at low percent still. Yeah, this is a situation the red team wants. You got Pikachu fighting Zero Suit, but just like that in doubles, like it just kind of ends. You know what I mean? Like you can have a game plan going in. I love that by Mars. Good reaction. He just kicks it, kicks uh, Light out of there. Super smart. Get out of there. <laughs> but he didn't want to roll forward because he was scared of both of them. So it was just a bad situation. Ooh, for beautiful parry there on the laser. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Rapid going to the other side. Mars is over there though. That's scary. Hold on. Mars looking for something. Forward error. Nice. Good job by Rapid recovering there. But on the other side, DM gonna be dropping. Uh, his final stock of this game. And I'm probably going to see something, some attempt at some flash here. Oh, God. Just Can he just wobble him? Into the back <laughs> of the head. <laughs> just keeps back airing him. Uh, that was potentially the most light and Mars finish I've ever seen. Mars both, up being, people going Mars kill. Up being uh, off the ground into lights up smash. Yeah, that was a, that was a very... Uh, very fitting ending for that so one. So I want to I want to ask you, as the New England specialist, uh, I've been introducing my little brother into Smash more and more, and cool. I'm about watching Mars and like the crazy things he goes for. What in your mind is the Mars special? Is it the is it the flip kick shenanigans off stage? Is it the raw up B? Or my personal favorite, is it the down air spike to kill it? Zero. Uh, down air definitely is the first one I thought of. In, in Smash Four, it was up air up B, uh, up air up air. Read the air dodge and do the flip kick instead of the up B at the end. Right. That was definitely in Smash Four, but I agree with you. I think I think down air is like the Mars special. In Game. Like wa watching so. Full Bloom was just a uh, really just an exhibition for him and for sure. their, their inset. So good to watch. Or uh, Collision. No, I'm just talking about Full yeah. Bloom. Oh, Full Bloom. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, Collision too. Also Collision, yeah. Yeah, he's really managed to you know circumvent the sponsor curse too. When you think about it, and a lot of people typically don't do too great on their first tournament after sponsorship. But winning uh, you know back to back with Collision and Full Bloom, really good showing so far. DM just taking his stock vote. While we're talking, while we're hyping him up, talking about how he's avoiding this curse, he's already dead, and everyone else is looking very healthy. So good job by DM there. It's, a, it's exactly the matchup they want, man. It's yep. a red team strategy. Uh, That's not a thing. Mars returning the favor. That's yeah. not a thing. That's the Mars special. Yeah. That's not a thing. That's <laughs> not a thing. That is the Mars special. <laughs> And cr all the credit in the world to DM using the best Pika skin by far. It's a good one. Libre, right? Yes, correct. Are we going to see the pickup here? Yep. Oh, so close to potentially getting a ton more damage there. Mars only at 39%. Really not worried about a stock at that point, but still, you don't want to take that kind of damage as ZSS. Right. Of course. Yeah, but Light's doing such a good job staying healthy, too. Oh, God. Just a, again, I'm talking him up. Look what he does, man. 
botches the whole thing. Nice, what a conversion right there. Good pickup by the, I don't keep wanting to call him green team because it's light. I need to talk to him after this. It's we tried, we tried it, during our set. It is so unacceptable. Oh God, that parry into up smash and the extended hitbox from the up smash. Ooh. That was crazy. Uh, death, just death is so all around down, I, thought, I thought he might go for it to be honest with you. I think Raffi was baiting him because he kind of floated very low and then kind of hovered away. Yeah, I think he's looking yeah. for it. A little shimmy over to the right. Yeah. Ooh, I yeah. like the slow get up there from DM, avoiding the uh, grab from GSS. Parry, but his multi hit didn't matter. Ooh, four throws? Oh, and he, <laughs> he parried the kick from the throw and then got the punish anyway. All right, he can keep the green color on. I take it back. He, he earned it with that one. That was That's a lot of respect on that one. All right, we see DM take stage, but is it Mars immediately grabbing back. Oh, Look at that. Okay. Clean. Did so that dash attack also hit underneath the back air given his body size? So yeah, if you're looking to like up your doubles game with your partner a little bit, little back and forth like that. Like you don't need to go for the huge, big, like infinite lock, like all this stuff. Just simple back and forth. You know, aerial strings are very, very good. He, he grabbed. Okay, he got two percent. Here we go. Which one are you taking the lead? It looks like oh. it's Mars right now. Let's see what they do here. Like this, this yeah. should be a good idea on how to get better doubles. Big punish here. Forward smash, conversion, forward. See, Ooh. that's what I'm talking about. Yep. Forward smash, forward smash. You don't need to get too crazy with it. Yeah, symbol, uh, the art of tennis, baby. Back and forth. Oh, that could have been it right there. Well, oh, no. Down here again. No. Oh. Stop. Is he going to do it again? Is, Is he going to have jet fuel? Oh, <laughs> the, the double, double back air. Yo, OK, the double back air and then also the up B, up smash for game two is so sick. The, the, anime, the anime finish, we get the clip. Here we go, here we go. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got technical difficulties. Don't cut to us. I want to watch this anyway. Hold on. Bing! That is so sick. Oh, that is so cool. That's great looking. I like that. You want to grab your side? No. 